Hey, and welcome to Glands Air Studios, where I help you grow your real estate business. Today's video is about seven unique real estate marketing ideas for your business. I'll be recording my screen and showing you seven websites that I think are doing a very good job at these different ideas. So let's jump into it. Let's jump right into it here. Here are seven unique real estate marketing ideas for your business. And during this video, I do have the list here in the bottom right hand of the screen at all times. So if you want to just kind of jump through um, the recording to see the different things individually, you can go ahead and do that. But they are listed. I have them here. And I'm going to be going through showing you my screen online of some people who are doing these things well. So the first thing is publish a local market quiz on your real estate website. So I found something here. It's called Quizzer, Q-Z-Z-R. They have a way that you can build quizzes very easily um, for people and you can put it right onto your website. So you're going to want to create a quiz about maybe your local market or maybe just facts about how many houses are selling in your area, um, how many local coffee shops are there, something that people are going to want to know the outcome of, but they're going to want to give you your email or give you their email or their phone number so you can contact them later on. So if you were to have a quiz on your website, you can build it with Quizzer. And uh, I just wanted to show you how this one works. It's very interactive. Um, you know, you can click your answer, see if you got it right or wrong, and go on to the next question. So you can build that, put it right onto your website. People will give you their email or their phone number um, just to take the quiz. So, and I actually did this for a client and I built a quiz for them and we had over 400 people fill out a quiz in one year. So you're going to want to publish a local market quiz on your real estate website. The second one is offer home valuations to capture leads. So offer a free home evaluation. So here is a website I found, uh, Rosal Realty Inc. Uh, they have just a very simple um, form to offer a free home evaluation. So you can come on here, um, put in your information, put in the property um, type, how many bathrooms, and then uh, give some comments, submit the form, and then you can give a free evaluation of their home. And now you know their address, their information, and you can go right to their house and um, give them a free evaluation. So a lot of websites have this, but if this is something that you do not have, you're going to want to make it incredibly easy for people to fill out. And I just like how simple this form is. Sometimes I see these things and they are so long, no one's ever going to fill it out. Um, so just keep a few questions, just more to capture their information rather than overwhelm them with data that they have to put in. All right, the third one is build a system for referrals. So I hear a lot of realtors, they're like, hey, I have a referral program. If you refer someone, I'll give you $1,000. I'll give you 2% of the deal, those type of things, right? But there's not a system to capture those referrals. So I found a website right here um, that is very good at capturing referrals. They have a huge headline, minimum $2,000 paid for referrals. Scroll down. They have a 30 second video about how the referrals work. So people know exactly how the referral program works. There's a video, a headline. You scroll down. There are um, nine steps to the referral program right here. And then down at the bottom, you can submit a lead. It is incredibly clear. There are too many websites that are not clear about the referral program. So this one right here, you're going to want to have a headline that says minimum $2,000 paid for referrals. Have a little video just about how the referral program works. There's, there's an animated, you could probably just do a video of you holding your iPhone saying here's how the program works and then have a form that people can fill out. Um, just make it really, really easy. Okay, the fourth one here is offer a free buyer and seller book or guide. Now, this website is really, really good at keepingcurrentmatters.com. They have a buyer and seller guide. You can download it for free, give your information. Um, you can see here on my screen that it is um, a longer guide. It looks very, very nice, and people are going to want to give their information to have these tips. And then you can build up a very large pipeline of people who want to sell or want to buy a house um, right through people downloading your guide. Now, you can get these guides um, for very cheap. There are a lot of uh, private label rights that have been written about how to sell your home, and you can get those um, for like you know less than $10, put a cool cover on it, and then put that on your website right away. You can do it in less than 24 hours. I've actually posted this on my TikTok before about how to do that. So if you're interested, you can check that out. I'll put a link in my bio about how to get private label rights um, books onto your website. Okay, the fifth one 
is develop a blog or um, a video series highlighting cool things in your area. So I found this website here. It is kind of ugly, but it's cool. 40 things to do in Lancaster PA for free, right? You should have this on your website. You should have a list of things, a larger list. I would say at least 20 things that you can do for free in your area. Because if someone wants to move, the first thing that they're going to do is they're going to Google the area they're moving to. And if your website shows up with 40 things to do for free in Lancaster, PA, or whatever county you're from, they will think that you are a leader in the market. So develop a list of 40 free things to do and put it on your website. You want it to be long. This website's a little ugly, to be honest to me, but it's a long website. It gives a lot of content. People are going to go to it, scroll through. They added some photos, and Google knows exactly what this website is about because it's a long tail content. So have this on your website. I would, I would do that ASAP if you do not have it. Okay, the sixth one is something very simple, but um, I'm surprised people don't do it. I would add lighting to your listing signs. There are a ton of people that drive at nighttime, especially in today's society. People drive all the time. People are looking at houses at night. They wanna see what the neighborhood is like at night, so they're driving through. You should have lighting to your listing signs. And I found a website right here um, that you can buy a solar power um, light right here. I'm, I'm not an affiliate to these people at all, but it's, an, it's a solar powered light that will light up your listing sign and it's only 30 bucks. I would definitely suggest doing this with your listing signs. That way more people will see your name at nighttime. They'll remember your name. It, it pops up. People are attracted to the light um, and they can, they'll just see your name and they'll remember it. And then the last one is make sure that you're developing relationships with local businesses. And I found this website here, becomealocalleader.com. They have a great um, blog here about how to become a local leader. And in here, they have some gift referral ideas. They have become co-sponsors of events, how to do that, um, social media through your local business. I am recording this video in the middle of COVID-19 and local businesses have never been more important for your uh, real estate agency. So I would suggest being involved with your local businesses. I would go to this website, becomealocalleader.com, and they have a ton of resources about how to do that. So I just wanna recap what we went over here. We want to publish a market quiz on your website where people will give you their name and their contact information to take the quiz. I would then offer free home evaluations on your website, make it very simple. Don't overwhelm people with the information they have to put in, just a few things about the house because it's mainly about you getting that information. You wanna build a system for referrals. I know you probably have a way to do referrals, but you wanna make it clear, make a little video on your website in a small form for people to pull out the information. You wanna offer a free buyer and seller book or guide on your website that people can download you want to um, have it be content heavy and something where people will give you their email address for the book. You wanna develop a blog post or video series highlighting um, areas in your, um, highlighting free things in your area. Um, like I said, the 40 things to do in Lancaster, PA, that website shows up first whenever you Google those type of things. You should definitely have that on your website. Uh, add lighting to your listing signs because people are driving at nighttime. If you have not thought about that, I would do it right away. You can do it for less than 30 bucks. And I would develop relationships with local businesses in your area. I would figure out how to do it through social media. I would um, become a, a sponsor at an event in your area, especially right now as um, COVID-19 is around. People are looking to local businesses and how they are helping the community. So those are the seven things I would suggest that you should do to uh, market your real estate business. Uh, if hopefully this was helpful. Please like and subscribe for more content about how to market your real estate business and grow it. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. Please like and subscribe to help me build this channel up. I'm trying to give a bunch of information about how to market your real estate business. So thanks guys.